three, two, one. Hello everyone, Shadow here. We're playing again on the Diamond Fire server. I'm sitting in the nice little lounge on the chairs we created last time. Um on these beautiful uncomfortable seats this is like hard quartz you know like st standing on these wouldn't be comfortable but you're putting your rump on them so it's even worse and i don't know why my skin's being so weird lately it's, it's weird. then we got our deer head with our fridge and oven that we just can't use and that's what we're going to fix today me are going to oh wait a second I'm very confused what is what why is that broken anyways I need to stop taking pictures Okay, we're gonna do that, this and that, right after I think what had happened is somehow the chicken got stuck, like in the wall or something, or like right here, or I don't, I don't know how. Yeah, it's screwed everything up. Anyways, so now we can go to our pooter. We can smack that keyboard. Our seat can magically move on us. All, all the good stuff. Anyways, so beyond that, I need to modify my mic as to make me louder and bring down the desktop up audio which does need to be turned up and there we go anyways so now that's all good and yes I do realize I did this and so in keeping with that I'm going to put this here, whether I like it or not, it is what it is. Okay, so, the objective for today is, I really need to stop doing that. The objective for today is make a fridge and an oven. Now, I will be showing you a, <coughs> I will be showing you both an emperor version and a no rank required version. So, and of course there are other ways to do this stuff, but I want to mess with the new 5.0 features. So we're going to be using that a lot. I, I would say probably a lot more than some of the other features uh, that, may be, uh, that may be harder. You know, it, it's definitely simplified some things, but in this I'm going to make it a little bit more complex. But it's also kind of better, in a way, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a chest. Above the fridge and the oven. Now this isn't required, but I'm thinking it could be useful. Um, because, you know, if you actually think about it, it it's, it's not that bad. Anyways, I don't know what I was saying. But yeah, so, instead of, the game plan is, you know, you have this up here, you can put whatever you want in here. And what's good about it is the fact that, um... this, uh, you know, instead of having to look through all your code, you just, to change the stuff in the fridge, or add, or remove, 
you just hop over to these chests. You're not bothering anybody. No, no one's gonna have a problem with these chests, except for maybe like you. But who cares about you anyways? Um, and then you can just boopity boppity beep. So we're now going to label these because why not? Then we're going to we're already in depth. So now here's what we're going to do. So we're going to if player we're going to call a function and then we're going to do slash plot code space um, pink minus c minus l One second. Let me get a. Oh, by the way, handy trick. Right here, if you don't like the color of something, you can do that. And then when you type in again, it will replace it. Of course, I'm going to do light blue. So now let's get, I'm going to get rid of that. Light underscore blue, and bam. And then this one can be. Wrong again. Pink. And why is it pink? Because what's the first thing you think of when you think of a fridge? I don't know, and I can't assume to speak for you, so I won't try to know. I'm just gonna lay those out. Then I'm going to do a function, just like we called the function here. Now with the call function, you can call a, a function, and then this line of code can be called from anywhere. So, of course, a lot of the time, things are specific. To, like, you can't, you wouldn't have something in join and in right click. I mean, you could, you could have it, like, give an item. But a lot of the times, it's like, if player is looking at blah, 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 and so that wouldn't necessarily be helpful. Unless it's, like, left in, you know what, you'll figure it out. So what you can do is you can name the function. We'll call this fridge and oven. We'll just do them both in the in the save in the same in the same function. So So yeah, okay, so fridge oven, then what we can do is we can give it a symbol, so we'll do an iron door, and then if we name this with a color code, since this is on pink, I guess, um, let's see if there are any pink color codes, magenta is close enough, so at D, at D, and then we, when we go over here, you will now see that this has a pink on it. You can't actually name it from that item, but if you give it a color code, it will change the coloring. So we're going to call fridge oven. We're going to call fridge oven. Um. Then if player is looking well is not is near location hmm, I'm not sure I want to do that I guess I'll do if player 
is looking at block. Then Hopefully we'll have enough room in this small plot. Um, okay, so we're looking at this. Then we're going to set a variable. Wait, no, we're not. Yes, we are. We're going to do fridge in the block and then what we're going to do is we're going to shift right click and that's going to say save but we don't want that so we're going to shift right click again and we're going to get local meaning it is local to this function only it cannot be accessed from any other location so you couldn't like over here be like if variable equals blah 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 then blah 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 so that's good so we're going to make a local, and it's going to be equal to there. Um, and now we're going to um, we're going to um, open that. And now if we go to play, now see that's actually opening the chest, so we don't want that. We do not want that. What we want to do is we want a specific thing. And I don't remember exactly where it is. Um, um, set to container contents. We, okay, we want to get that. Want to with add this to our um we want to do it to our fridge end story which again will be local. Be the local tag. Well, it doesn't have to be, but it, it it's cleaner and you know less intensive. It is, you know, because then the variable really only exists when we're accessing this function, and so it's less intensive on the CPU. So it, it's better for your game, less lag, along with other things, you know. Anyway, so then we want to. Anyways, now of course I'm not too familiar with this, so perhaps use a variable. Now this is either going to do exactly what I want, or it's going to show the variable, like the actual variable. Okay, that didn't really do anything. So what if I put, uh, let's just put it. Okay, so what you do is you have, um, 
so detect if they're looking at the fridge in this instance. Uh, I'll just leave that open. If they're looking right here, then if they are, get container items of that chest and of this chest, and they need to be separate, um, then you show the inventory of the first fridge and the and then you expand with the second one. Now, if you just want to make it the size of normal chest, you don't have to do all that that secondary stuff. I mean, just two lines right there. But anyways, boom. Now you can put whatever you want. You can get some uh, glass panes. So, pink glass pane. Um, wait, um, Enchant, unbreaking one, hide flags. You can do your whole thing like that. Bam! You go in play mode now. Go up to this fridge. Bam! You got you got your got your thing. Now, now. What we're gonna do is we need to actually name. We can name this. Yeah, that's good. Um, to fridge. Yay, we got a little fridge now. It's a little, it's a little fridgy. Sweet. Okay. So we have that now. Then for the oven, we just do one chest for the oven because the oven is small. You know, the fridge is like you got the freezer and you got got that. So, anyways, the oven's exactly the same except we're only doing one chest. So only have one get container items and then another one. And also, by the way. If you couldn't already tell, um, it's going to place it exactly where you have it placed in the chest, which is just great, to be honest. You know, you know it's great. I know it's great. Everybody knows it's great. So. Next, we're going to have a function called take item. Take food. It's called take food. And we'll get little pork pork chop. Now we're gonna use at Dion. Oh. At D. Bam. So what we're going to do is if A plot menu. So if they have a plot menu open, now what we're going to do is we're going to set variable um, item cell. Uh, short for selected, item selected, or item select. Item selected is the game value action of uh, it should click this clicked inventory item in this event. So when they click on the item, you're then going to get item material and we'll get the item and then we're also going to get we're going to do um, 
get item stack size item stack size again we want to click slot item and then of course item stack item stack we're then going to repeat multiple times we're going to repeat the amount of times that they well the stack amount of the item we're going to give the selected item that number of times of course it says there has to be a wait oh not, not start loop a wait of one tick. So now, if we go in game, we go up to here, and nothing will happen. And do you know why? That's because we haven't called this function. See, what this is supposed to be is click item. On the click item event, we are going to Call our take food function. And now when we go in here, we get one steak. And we can spam it, of course. Then, of course, we can add, let's say, for instance, four. Bam. We now have four steak. And, of course, this will work with any item. It doesn't even have to be food. It does not even have to be food. You could just, no, no, you obviously can't do that because 1.14 stuff hasn't been added. You just shulker shell, go for it. Bam, you can get shulker shells now. Because of that, it's soft coated. And, uh, it's soft coated. So it'll work with anything instead of you having to hard code every individual item. So you just, you're like, you know what? Also, I'm going to do a thing. I'm going to do a shing a shing a shing a show. I'm going to grab these. Now, of course, you can, like, let's for instance say you want a book and you want to uh, name. Uh, and then you want to have a uh, And then. Okay. Well, actually, I want cyan. I don't know what the color code for that is. At three. Actually, no, I want to go at nine. I don't want. At nine. Now, of course, you may be thinking, well, and you'd be right. With the current setup, you can grab the freezer and the fridge. Now, as you can see, it's actually only giving you the book, and, and it's just giving you the thing called book. And that's because it's getting the item type, and it's getting the item, not the item name. If you want to, um, if you want to do that, there's like some variable stuff, but I'm not going to get into that right now. What we can do is actually um, get rid of this bit really quickly, and you can do if item does not equal, then you do. Oh, not that. I want to wait. Okay. 
And of course, I just realized something. You can actually do a number there. So you don't even need this loop thing. You can do the loop thing if you want to, but totally not necessary. 100% unnecessary. Bam. Just like that. So, of course, I kind of like the loop thing, but I'll do necessity. So, now that we have this, if the item is not that, we can just grab freezer and grab fridge, and then this will be able to detect multiple items. So you, if you have lots of things in there, like of course, you know, the sides. You don't want people grabbing these sides. What you do is you just add those in, and then. You know, now, when we go in play mode, we can no longer grab those items. See? But of course, any item that's not in that chest, like let's say, pumpkin pie, you know, it's pretty sure there obviously wouldn't be pumpkin pie in there. You know, you get some, you get pumpkin pie, some, some water bottles, you know, got, got some water bottles, Ooh, you got, you got some steak, you know, maybe, you know, you just get that, like, kind of laid around the land, you know, it's kind of whatever. That, of course in the freezer and you know the fridge is normally bigger than the freezer so what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go to this first one bam boop make the freezer a little bit smaller you know we'll get that steak up like that um, Then, of course, we want some. So, you know, got to get some Sprite, some water, you know, some meat, then the freezer. Maybe you're about to cook up some pork chops for dinner. You know, you got, you got those pork chops just laying on your hand and, you know, ooh, maybe some, oh yeah, and got some cookies. Right, you got lots of stuff. You got lots of stuff. You go up to your fridge, you got your freezer, you got your fridge, you grab yourself some cookies, which, by the way, Um, what was I doing? Right. It's, there's gotta be 16 cookies, you know. There's like cookie jar quality. You can make a cookie jar in there if you wanted to. And then, you know, if you had a resource pack, you'd probably like animate it too. Um, or you have the cookies and then you right click on it. No GUI or anything. Unless you wanted to. You just you get a cookie and then uh, through the resource pack you get rid of that cookie. Uh, and yeah, so you know, all that, we will, I'll do the oven uh, post. I don't know. Like just pausing the recording or whatever. Um, and then get back to you. Um, so, you know, we got that. Got you, got that. Now, what I'm going to show you is if you want to do a fridge, but you don't have Emperor rank, so you can't do NBT. Okay? So, I'll get right to that. 
So what I'm going to do is, because we just made these, we'll just get rid of them really quickly. We're going to do if player looking at block, then we can go here. Oops. Look in there. Then this will require credits. We can do give random item. Arrange item. And what we can do there is we can just We can just add this, that, that, and then, and then what you do is you just go up to here, and of course it wouldn't work because why would anything ever work the first time? Improperly, like it's supposed to. Seriously, though, what's going on? Oh, uh, I meant to do here. Whew. I was wondering what's going on. Wrong location. Pull. And get your water bottle, you get your pumpkin pie, you get your sprite. So there. Now, of course, you could use variables um, in order to create a random variable, and then based on the random variables output, give you a specific item. But we're not going to get into random today. We'll get into that another day. So I'll be right back with you as soon as I finish oven. Okay, I'm back, and I decided that instead of, um, you know, this being an inventory where I could get cook cooked items, since I had already accidentally put steak in the fridge, I just decided, why not make an actual furnace? So, uh, as you can see, you've got the fridge here, you grab your mushroom stews, although there's not much you can do with them right now, because you can't get hungry. Well, actually, I think you can get hungry. One second. Yeah. As you can see, you can get hungry, so, who's that? Maybe you can enjoy some mushroom stew on there. But I was like, you know what, why not just make the furnace an actual furnace? Although... I feel so stupid right now. This is so bloody wrong. This was supposed to be renamed. Oh, and it was, but I ran into a technical difficulty and things got screwed up. There we go. Now, there we go, that's better. That's all good. Oh, then, beautiful. So, what happens is, of course, this is back to being Emperor, and in order to do the furnace like that, you will have to have Emperor, just so you know. In order to, find, in order to open a block, you have to have Emperor. So, and I guess that kind of makes sense, because it's um, like an inventory menu, whatever. So, I called it again, all these things, to get everything back up and running after learning that code. And it's pretty simple. If you're looking at wherever, your oven, wherever you want your oven to be, uh, fill this container, and then you have the hopper running into it, then open block inventory right at that furnace. It's really at the core of this furnace, because what happened is, since this is a full block with a chest, you can just stand on top of it, and the location will be partly in the chest, but here, it's not enough in the furnace, it just recognizes you as standing on top of it. So what happened is I actually had to destroy the furnace, pop down the location, then replace the furnace, and that's why it lost its name, Oven. So, yeah, 
simple as that. And so now you got your little fridge, and you got a little oven. Got your fridge, and you got your raw pork chops. Pop, pop, and lock them. Oh yeah! Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed uh, this episode. I guess since we are building one plot, so it's technically an episodic series. Um, it took longer than I expected. I thought I was gonna have to do some filler stuff, but no, because I suck at development, and so it will take me hours to do literally anything. I'm kidding, it only took me like 30 minutes. So, not that bad. Thank you all for watching, and thank goodness I don't have to go through the replay mod this time. Bye-bye.